from the East Tennessee Weather Center, here's your afternoon weather update with meteorologist Mike Witcher. And we sure hope you're having a great day. Thanks for checking in with your afternoon weather update. I'm meteorologist Mike Witcher, as she just said, and we sure hope you're having a great day today. High pressure is the name of the game across the eastern seaboard. That's at the surface of the Earth, but as we go up in the upper parts of the atmosphere, we have another ridge of high pressure that's going to be building in from Texas and the desert southwest, and that's going to bring us even more heat as we head through the week this week. But as we get into Halloween, there's going to be another trough digging its way into the upper Midwest and the northern Great Plains. That's going to push a cold front through our area, and that's going to bring us a chance for some scattered light rain showers. But the timing of that, probably after trick-or-treaters. I'll explain coming up here in just a moment. So increasing sunshine, warmer weather for the rest of the afternoon, warm and dry for the rest of the week. But the end of the week, a cold front swings through. It cools us down for one day, and that should be about the extent of it. From here on out, we're going to continue to see beautiful sunshine for the rest of the day today. So enjoy that. Lunchtime temperatures have been hovering in the 60s. Afternoon highs a little bit warmer than what we experienced yesterday. We'll be in the low, mid, and upper 70s, which is going to make for a nice evening around town. By 7 o'clock tonight, we'll dip down to about 68 degrees. So enjoy that. All right, our temperatures, as I mentioned, that ridge of high pressure builds aloft, and that's going to allow our temps to climb 10 to nearly 15 degrees above average, near record some days. A little bit cooler on Friday, more seasonable, but it doesn't last long. We're back in the mid to upper 70s, both Saturday and Sunday. Of course, we've got another home football game here this weekend. Should be perfect football weather. Uh, and our dew points uh, are, are going to be in the 50s and 60s. I highlight the dew points because for two reasons. A, we saw that temperatures are going to come up into the mid to upper 70s, some pockets of low 80s. Higher dew points gives it a warmer feel to the afternoon. But higher dew points also translates to warmer morning low temperatures. And so morning lows, average morning lows for in the mid 40s. We're going to be well above that by also 10 to 15 degrees. So a uh, warm weather pattern is on the way. And it may last for the first week to two weeks of November. So something to keep in mind that we're still looking at above average temperatures on the way. All right, let's pick up our timeline Thursday morning. This is Halloween, cold fronts to our west. It's going to spill in some decent rain off to our west. It's going to be approaching and moving its way across the state as we head through trick-or-treat time. Here's 7 o'clock. Most of the rain is going to be in Middle Tennessee. So if you have travel plans to Middle Tennessee for trick-or-treating, you're likely to get wet. If you're staying here locally, it's going to be knocking on our back door for you folks on the plateau as we get into the trick-or-treat hour. Of course, this is 6 o'clock Central Time. So Cumberland and Fentress County, something to keep in mind. You may have some rain showers knocking on your back door. Most of those should come through after trick-or-treating time, a wet start to, uh, to our Friday morning, but then the rain showers move on out. And again, it does not look like it's going to add up to a whole lot. I would say less than a quarter of an inch of rain, but it does appear at this point of the game that most areas of East Tennessee will at least pick up some light rain, which is beneficial. We need the moisture terribly bad. All right, so when you look at our rain chances, rain-free all the way through Wednesday, that 20% is late in the day on Thursday after trick-or-treating time or right around. Uh, and then Friday morning is that 20%, but we'll have elevated rain chances in the middle of the night. Of course, not really impacting our daily lives. So about average to maybe slightly above average precipitation for the next couple of weeks, that should be about it. Uh, so it's not looking like any major rain events are on the way, nor are we looking at any major cool downs on the way as well. So your seven-day forecast, we're going to be warming into the upper 70s to low to maybe a few pockets of mid-80s to the middle and latter part of the week. On Friday will be the coolest day, and then we rebound nicely as we get into the weekend. Of course, I do want to highlight that trick-or-treat forecast for you. This is just preliminary. It's only Monday. We'll keep you posted on how this all plays out in the coming days. As of right now, I'm just going to go mostly cloudy, mild temperatures. 6 o'clock, we're at 73, down to 70 by 8. And by 10 o'clock, if you have some older kids still out and about, of course, we kind of wrap things up as we get into 9, 10 o'clock hour at nighttime, but still very comfortable weather in the upper 60s. So make sure you check in daily with the East Tennessee Weather app. It's a free app download, by the way. Just search East TN Weather, all one word from the App Store, and download it today. It's everything you need to know for weather right here in East Tennessee. Clean, simple, easy, and super efficient. All right, we sure hope you have a great rest of your day. Your next weather update comes up at 6 o'clock. Check back in.